We have some super exciting stuff to go through here in today's video. It looks like we just got our first actual look at Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer gameplay. A couple of days ago, we got our first look at a map preview in the game, uh, which was really sick. But now here, we have a gameplay teaser trailer, 1 minute 15 seconds, some devs hopping on, showing us actual gameplay of a new MP map. So exciting. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. We're super close to 96 on the channel. I really do appreciate all the new viewers recently. It means so much to me. We're going to be covering all the latest MW2 and Warzone 2 updates, trailers, etc. right when they come out, just like we're doing here. So I appreciate you guys joining the channel. But again, we have Farm 18. Later on in this video, I'm going to go through, react to it live, break it down, go through exactly what we're looking at here in this gameplay teaser trailer. But first up, before we go through anything, let me play you guys the gameplay teaser trailer in its entirety, Modern Warfare 2, Farm 18 new MP map and then we'll come back in a minute and talk about what we're seeing here. How we designed a new map for Modern Warfare 2. My name is Jeffrey Smith. I'm a director of multiplayer design. Farm 18 came out of the idea of we kind of like the shoot house facility map, so we decided to think of hidden training facilities, but it's also in a industrial cement factory. And the idea was, what if we put a shoot house type situation in the middle? If you really want to play that crazy game, you can go to the center and that action will find you. If you want to pull back and play a different way, it's still available to you. I'm Ashley Thundercliffe and I'm a senior environment artist. So when the design has approved the layout of the map and we're happy with it, and then we come in and we transform those blockhouses into full-fledged environments for the players to immerse themselves in. The other problem was balancing the foliage. If we go too dense with the foliage, we have people hide in the corners. If we don't go dense enough, we don't sell the narrative of the overgrowth. So it's all a perfect balance between all departments trying to find the perfect harmony to make sure that we've got a beautiful, realistic looking space, whilst also being fun for the players to enjoy. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. First off, again, I think it's safe to assume that we're going to get a lot more of these very soon. They already said we're going to get Intel drops leading up until the gameplay reveal event in September. September 15th to be exact, which is a Thursday. We're going to get the full MP reveal then. But up until then, we had the theory that, you know, they would give us gameplay teasers. I talked about in my recent video. They're probably going to give us little snippets of gameplay, little shots of other MP maps. And that's exactly what they're doing here. But I did not expect them to do it like this. This is so, so sick. I love this type of marketing. As I'll talk about later on in this video in my live reaction, I go through and said, this is exactly what I wanted them to do. I had a bunch of streams back before MW2 was first being revealed. And we were watching old trailers and marketing for Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, even Black Ops 2, where they had DLC trailers and teaser trailers just like this. I remember vividly actually Die Rise when that was first announced it was this style they showed you the development behind the scenes of making Die Rise some early gameplay snippets some cuts developers hopping on talking about the map I love that style of marketing so so much I don't know what it is but it's so cool so to see this style of marketing a teaser reveal trailer whatever you want to call it return for Modern Warfare 2 of all games it's just so amazing to see so again good marketing doesn't mean the game's gonna be good but in my opinion it helps increase the hype and excitement so much so I love this here and again we should be seeing a lot more of this for other MP maps now I'm assuming I think it's a safe bet to make that farm 18 uh, will also be a part of the upcoming multiplayer beta and i think they're only going to do these types of videos for the beta maps they're probably going to wait until the full multiplayer reveal event to reveal other mp maps in this game or maybe they'll just save it for the launch of the game and all we're going to get are teasers of each and every one of the beta maps and then for the mp reveal they'll go more in depth on the maps and the weapons and the create class the new modes etc like they normally do and then we'll have a bunch of new 6v6 maps to discover and explore when the game launches in our October so exciting stuff there definitely sick the gameplay here as I'll talk about is super cool the colors are great it looks crisp it looks clean I mean I'm loving this here so I don't want to overhype this game as I said you know good marketing doesn't mean the game's gonna be good but it's definitely making me feel really good about this game I'm excited let me know down below how you guys feel about this and now for the rest of the video I'm gonna play this teaser trailer in its entirety I'm gonna react to it live in the video with face cam on so I hope you guys do enjoy that and here you guys go all right guys here's my live reaction to this new Intel drop here for Modern Warfare 2 we actually have some gameplay here of the map as I probably already talked about earlier on in this video we have farm 18 
A new MP map location, classified, shoot house, optional. Uh, let's watch this here. So it's a 1 minute 15 second TikTok, I guess, of actual gameplay you're already seeing here and how they designed the new MP map. So, so cool. Let's get straight into this, guys. How we designed a new map for Modern Warfare 2. My name is Jeffrey Smith. I'm a director of multiplayer design. Farm 18 came out of the idea of we kind of like the shoot house facility map, so we decided to think of hidden training facilities. But it's also in an industrial cement factory. And the idea was, what if we put a shoot house type situation in the middle? If you really want to play that crazy game, you can go to the center and that action will find you. If you want to pull back and play a different way, it's still available to you. I'm Ashley Thundercliffe and I'm a senior environment artist. So when the design has approved the layout of the map and we're happy with it, and we come in and we transform those blockhouses into full-fledged environments for the players to immerse themselves in. The other okay. problem was balancing the foliage. If we go too dense with the foliage, we have people hide in the corners. If we don't go dense enough, we don't sell the narrative of the overgrowth. So it's all a perfect balance between all departments trying to find the perfect harmony to make sure that we've got a beautiful, realistic looking space, whilst also being fun for the players to enjoy. Guys, you don't know how happy and proud I am to watch these videos, bro. To watch this video, I should say. How we just Oh my god. First of all, first of all, the gameplay looks crisp. The gameplay looks so so good. The map looks sick as well. The colors are there. Um, you definitely have some, you know, heavy Modern Warfare 2019 vibes, which was expected, of course, but it looks a lot better, which is good. But, I, I mean, first off on the marketing, I, I swear, I don't want to be full of myself here. I don't want to have a massive ego, but I swear someone at IW or Activision, they must have watched one of my streams or videos. I'm probably not the only YouTuber that has said this in the past uh, couple months or so, but I remember before the MW2 marketing started, I said we were looking back on streams, we were looking back at the old marketing for a lot of the past Call of Duties, and we and we literally talked about, me in the chat talked about how this type of marketing is so sick. This is like a video you would have seen for like Black Ops 1, for like an old Call of Duty, for Modern Warfare 3, they had videos and trailers like this and teasers where it's just a different vibe, it shows you how the map was being built, uh, more of an interview type of style. Oh my god, I love this type of marketing. So cool. It seems like we're gonna get a lot more of these style of videos for different MP maps in the future, which I'm so excited for. Again, this is probably also a map we're gonna see for the beta as well. But overall, just on a marketing standpoint alone, regardless of what we're looking at here, even regardless of if, if this game's gonna be good, I hope it's good, but the marketing, I love it. I, this is exactly what I wanted them to do, and they're doing it. So excited, so hyped. I mean, I wonder, obviously, they've done it in the past. 2012, 2011, 2010, they used to make these type of marketing videos for new DLC map packs. I don't know if they saw my stream and were like, you know, you know what, let's do it again. Probably not. You know, I don't want to be fooling myself here, but this is exactly what we were saying. I love this so much. But again, on the gameplay itself, this map looks really sick. Again, in the middle, you have that shoot house. You have that super close quarters action area. And then you have, I guess, a little bit of an outskirts. It doesn't look like a large map necessarily, but it looks big enough to have other ways to actually, you know, flank around people. And you have those two big lanes on the right and left. And then the middle, you don't have a clear center lane. It seems like you just have that middle shoot house area, which is just going to be mayhem, I'm assuming. But still, super cool concept. Love the look of this map here. Going to be sick. I can't wait to play it. And that's it for now, guys. I mean, so sick here. We could, like, pause and look at some other stuff. You want to see... Actually, I wanted to show you guys one little area here. Another shot. Yeah, this this shot right here. Now when he's placing the trees, it's like a shot of the actual map itself. Right here. Oh my god, wait. Wait, I gotta pause. I gotta go back and Oh my god. This is the the top was um I guess the development side of things. And then on the bottom is the final project. Whoa. That looks so so cool. I don't know about you guys. That looks sick. I phew, can't wait, guys. I cannot wait. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I I'm going to be covering all of these teaser gameplay videos for multiplayer. Probably for other... Pro they're going to probably do these for Warzone 2 and DMZ as well. I'll be covering it all right when they come out. So be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for the latest MW2 updates, news, etc. There are two other videos up on screen that may interest you. So be sure to check them out. 
Real do appreciate, guys. Chat to the YouTube channel members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys. Peace out.